How low was the original plan to pull the pay and ice that will pay down the plan? I just want to say. There was a whole bunch of shit that was planned for the beat down plan. <coughs> and unfortunately, there's a, a big fat ass job of the hut looking dude who calls himself John Gaburik who has no fucking clue what he's doing. <laughs> and he was in charge. And then you had the Sarah Palin of professional wrestling making decisions. So between the two of them, they had no clue. So John Gaburik hired somebody who was under contract to another company, and he fucked up. And they just decided that since that guy, eight weeks of TV was scrapped because he hired a guy who was under contract to another company. They take eight weeks of TV. All that TV was scrapped. The beatdown clan was scrapped. But somehow, John Gaburg still has a job. <laughs> um, everything I did with Brian. It wasn't so much about being in VX. It was at the time they needed us. You know, but it was just... Me and Brian had the chemistry, I wish I could tell you how it was, because we are so opposite. And when I say opposite, we are opposite. <laughs> so, me and Brian were just about having fun. I mean, if anybody doesn't know who Brian is, that would be Road Dog. Um, it, it was just about having fun and entertaining the people, because our wrestling skills suck. I mean, they're really good now, but... <laughs> It was it was all about having fun and just and doing our thing and it was just and it was one of those things when we first got paired together. Um, I was not aware of everything that Dutch was. I never called him Zeb. I always called him. I always said use a dirty man, Dutch. Um, but it was one of the you just, just leave. Um, but honestly, one of the highlights of my career, and he's still a great friend to this day, and I'll, I'll put uh, working with him up with winning a World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. They say Jason Bourne, so how come it's not Mel Bourne? <laughs> and uh, my mate Zorn, where are you? If it wasn't for him, none of this would have. And. You know, when this all came together, I said the last time, he was like, hey, why don't we do one show here? And last time, as you all know, we packed this place. And then now he was like, what do you say we do a tour? This tour has been awesome, and we've all been on some tours. And uh, I've been having a great time. We've done, me and Billy have been here for like two weeks. We started in Brisbane, then we went to Sydney, then we went to Perth, then we went here. We've been hanging out. Uh, seeing sights, seeing all the parts of the beautiful country, and guys, honestly, this, with that, especially the VIPs, because you guys really, really help us out to make sure that this happened. Uh, personally, I'm gonna get in trouble for it, but I don't really care. A long, long time ago, a woman stood by my corner. For a long, long time, she's been retired forever, but I always told her how much you guys meant to me, so, and I always say as wrestling, we're a dysfunctional family, and I come from an Italian family where every Sunday we get together, and you know, tonight we're all gonna get together. I'm your crazy uncle, Tommy Dreamer. Here's your crazy great-grandfather, Billy Gunn. <laughs> uh, but uh, my family, my daughters, and uh, Beulah McGillicuddy, uh, she don't come out for nothing. She's gonna be out, we're gonna be signing. Guys, you wanna come out and meet our Melbourne family? The only other place we came out of retirement before was for the ECW arena, but this is how special you guys are. We're gonna sign stuff, take some pictures, and then we're gonna kick ass on tonight's show. So let's tear it up. Thank you so much.
God damn, y'all are good. I don't know, as you heard earlier, I'm a little old. <laughs> that kind of takes it out of me. But hell, why not? Yeah. This guy... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just here to have fun.
From last year, it was because of you guys. Thank you, Tommy! Thank you, Tommy! Thank you, Tommy! You're a legend! You're a legend! You're a legend! I said this in the Q&A. All of us like WWE. But you know what? I want to show something different to the wrestling fans. Tim Tams. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't want to, you know, everyone's talking about the scene in the UK. Guys, when I came here on the Indies, I realized what great Australian wrestling fans there were. And when I say you set the bar, I don't know if you remember, but WWE used to actually skip a year before they would come here. And they would come here every other year. And the day we all landed, they announced their fourth tour here in Australia. So, I prefer Stephanie, but Bill is in the room, so shut up. The weakest town won't get us. We're coming back to Melbourne next year. last night and yeah um tommy dreamer said he's definitely coming back next year which definitely can't wait for um yeah the matches were awesome a few of them seemed a bit short but like not that they were bad matches just short matches in general um but yeah the main event was really good and I picked up a few things on the night, well just two things, um, yeah so the first thing I picked up was a signed photo from MVP, which was really cool, um, yes yeah, so there's that one, and I also picked up on Blu-ray House of Hardcore Eight and Tommy Dreamer also can kind of see it there signed it for me, um, which is really cool. Um, pretty much two main events on this one. There's a South Philly street fight between Eric Young and Tommy Dreamer. And then you've also got Dirty Heels versus the Young Bucks. You've got the Addiction versus Team 3D. You've got Brian Myers versus PJ Black. You've got, yeah, a few others. Um, it's my first House of Hardcore um, Blu-ray I picked up. I'll end up getting a few more, I reckon. So, yeah. Um, had pretty good two last days. Um, really tired, if you can't tell. Um, the plane left the airport this morning it was like 6 30 or something like that and we stayed the night in the airport since there was no point in booking another night at the hotel when we had to be down um at the airport like three four hours after the event so yeah um thanks for watching um i'll do a blu-ray and dvd update because I picked up a fair few things since my last video so I'll do that after this and yeah thanks for watching bye was scrapped because he hired a guy who was under contract to another company they take eight weeks of TV all that TV was scrapped the beatdown clan was scrapped but somehow John Gaborg still has a job <laughs> Um, 
everything I did with Brian. It wasn't so much about being in DX. It was at the time they needed us, you know, but it was just, me and Brian had the chemistry. I wish I could tell you how it was because we were Jason Bourne, so how come it's not Melbourne? <laughs> and, uh, it was planned. We got a plan. And unfortunately, there's a, a big fat ass job of the hut looking dude who calls himself John Gaburik, who has no fucking clue what he's doing. <laughs> and he was in charge. And then you had the Sarah Palin of professional wrestling making decisions. So between the two of them, they had no clue. So John Gaburik hired somebody who was under contract to another company, and he fucked up, and they just decided that since that guy, eight weeks of TV. We're so opposite, and when I say opposite, we are opposite. <laughs> so, me and Brian were just about having fun. I mean, if anybody doesn't know who Brian is, that would be Road Dog. Um, it, it was just about having fun and entertaining the people because our wrestling skills suck. I mean, they're really good now, but <laughs> it was it was all about having fun and just and doing our thing. And it was just and it was one of those things when we first got paired together. Um, I was not aware of everything. 